Welcome back to the shop. This is how to make triangular holes in steel with a drill bit. Now, I'm not above any of that sweet, sweet clickbait. It's actually how to broach a triangular hole with a drill bit. A little bit different. Semantics to some. And the plan is we're going to start off with some A36 inch thick, uh, it might be W44, mild steel. And the reason we're going to use this instead of using the trusty bench vise is because even though Big Bertha is an 8 inch record, 2 ton press capacity, 2 tons is just not enough. More tonnage equals more better. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this 1 inch plate, we're going to thread it with half inch fasteners. 13 threads per inch, that's coarse, but each half inch grade 8 bolt can do 12,000 pounds, 6 tons. So we put 4 of those in there, what's that? 24 tons! More tonnage, more better. So we're just going to cut this up like a loaf of bread, take off a couple sections, then we'll gang this up and drill it in the milling machine, we'll thread to one side, bingo, bango, jean Guy's your uncle. Now you could do this with a hacksaw, hell you could do it with a butter knife if you were determined enough, but it's a smoke MF, you got them deal, we're going to use the Milsucky dry cut saw. Ah! 20 amp breaker, still tripped. It's like it just doesn't. And that is until it ends. I mean, it's inevitable, but you still want to stick around for as long as possible. <laughs> Dangerous? Yes. Fun? You betcha. Okay, we've got our basal platinum all marked out, and I'm going to spot drill it. Actually, this will be our upper basal platen. And we're going to spot it. Actually, we're going to through drill it with the quarter inch uh, milling machine on a warp 8, and then we're going to come through with a 9 16 of an inch. Nice and big. What for loosey goosey and some fudge factor to let this move around a little bit. And of course, I got the special drill bits, unobtainium centered pixie dust. So I don't need any lube. Yeah, we're a little bit off there. There we go. And when the tentacle gets too long, all you do is you just let the pressure off a little, that breaks the chip. Now that way you don't have to engage your safety squints. Ah, oh, maybe a little fast even for me. Okay, chickadee, you can't be in here. You got no pants. C'est temps pour manger ou quoi? Uh, I'm drilling this hole. Now on the obverse we do same same only different. Oh yeah. Yeah, speed her up too. Now we're going to go in with the 2764ths, which you metric guys, uh, yeah. 
about that size, but it's the perfect size for getting 70% full thread on the tap. So this is the correct size for tapping the hole. Only we don't need an inch of hole, so we're going to through drill, drill these and then we're going to oversize it for about a quarter inch just to give us a little helping hand when we're tapping. Now I got the half inch twist drill in there and I'm just going to set the stop so that we go to a quarter inch, no more, no less. I don't have a DRO, a digital readout on this, so I'm pretty much just using the laser highball. And as you can see, I'm off a little bit, so I gotta go westward, southward, and we should be good there. Way off. Let's try that. Okay, a little bit better. Okay, now we can go ahead and tappy tap tap. Now this is a special machining tap. You saw it made one of those, a big long spiral chip that didn't get clogged up in the hole, so it ejects it. And it's, it's more expensive, of course. It's made for these machines. You can use a regular tap and just do it by hand, but again, it's a case of smoke them if you got them. One thing I noticed I forgot to do was to drill, while I had it in there, a through hole. That's how you're going to eject the plug, the slug, after you uh, broach it. You need somewhere for the chip to go. So we'll drill a hole right in the center. Now we got the top plate in. Again. Always time to do it right the second time. We're going to just punch a little pocket in there, quarter inch pocket, what for impressing the laddies, I mean ladies. Style, style, boys. And we can crank that up a little. And of course that makes an uh, included angle of 118 degrees and we want that flat bottomed. Flat bottom girls, you make the something something go around. So we're gonna get the four flute end mill out and flat bottom it. Now I'm gonna go. A blonde one further. Well, okay. A thick black Mediterranean one. And that's her. Good for the night. Let's shut the mill off and go have supper. And you ain't ever going to win the coveted Heifer of the Year 4-H Club Award without a little fluffery hand finish, as they say.
You're just putting a tamp here on there. Cam Fear, master of the Blue Vein Piccolo. clear out there in YouTube land. Five by five. Hello, focus, you fuck. There we go. What for put you that? Well, my friends, it's for the magnet so we can retain whatever cutting bit we stick in there. Huh? Huh? Stupid like a fox. I said stupid. There we go. <laughs> and you'll notice it is not proud of the surface. So I just splashed a little paint on the plates, the press plates, while we wait for that to flash off. We're going to go ahead and make our press tool. This is a uh, cheap Chinese drill bit, uh, cheese grade, should be HSS, however. So we're just going to take the hand grinder and, uh, yeah, give her a little hand finish. If you have a look at the tip of that, she's pretty gnarly yet. And we want that to have a nice little dish so it makes a good press tool. So the way we do that is uh, we just run this and then run this here and the, yeah, the concavity of this will, yeah, it, it, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, now the press tool has a perfect concavity, but still got a bit of a rolled over edge. Nothing we can't touch up with the stone. Well, I apologize for the Hitachi mop and bucket job there, but she's all that the Empire of Dirt would release. I'm afraid I don't have any medical off-white anymore. So all we're going to do is put some lubrication on the two washers there. And we're only going to need two bolts because we don't need that much. We don't need the full 25 tons. So we'll never seize the bolts. Chuck them in there. Tweak them down. And the bolts, of course, are kitty corner. So they run right through the center if you need it all four bolts. Yeah. And you can feel it loosen right up when you go through. It'll start to yield. There you go. There you go. Triangular hole through steel with a drill bit. Now the real question, why would you want a triangular hole in anything? That is a good question. One that I will answer next time. Dun, dun, dun. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your prick in this lace.